sheets for families, meaning, you know, if you normally use this formula, these are safe exchanges. So your pediatrician is going to have a lot of information for you and guide you through some safe switches because there are a lot of options out there for most families. A lot of options, but not that many companies are actually manufacturing baby food uh, and baby formula and switching formulas, as you know, and switching brands is easier for some babies than others. What about infants who need a specialty formula like Alimentum because perhaps they have allergies or just rejecting the formula that they're trying? Yes, yeah, so there are two major manufacturers in this situation. One manufacturer has been harder hit the Abbott line more so than the other, and then there's a handful of smaller uh, manufacturers out there. The good news is, is since there's two major companies that make formula, they have always been competing with each other, meaning if one company produces a new type of formula, that other company is going to catch up and produce the same thing, just with a different name. So there are Elementum equivalents uh, made by the other manufacturers that are perfectly safe to switch and use. But again, anytime your child is needing a highly specialized formula due to a medical condition or is followed by a specialist, who uh, states they need a special formula, talk to that doctor about your switch. But there are options available even for those highly specialized formulas. It certainly is scarier for those families, but we can find solutions for them. Yeah, it's so important. The doctor should be your first call there. Um, when it comes to people trying to make homemade formulas, for example, you say no. Why, why is this so dangerous? Yeah, the you know babies, especially the younger newborn infants, you know their bodies are not designed to tolerate a lot of variability, and they are also at greater risk for infections from germs that just don't bother older kids and adults. So the pasteurization, the sterilization, the production of that formula is critically important, and the ratios of the fats and proteins and sugars in that formula is also incredibly important. So, you know, there are a lot of social media posts saying, oh, no big deal, you can make it at home, but that really is just not a safe option. We do have abilities to get formula to most families. Again, it's going to be a little bit of work for some families, but mm -hmm. the make it home option is really not safe. Such an important point there. As you heard, this shortage could go on for six to eight weeks. Um, is it safe to use overseas options? If they are being manufactured by the same company and being brought into the country under uh, established protocols, then yes, it should be. I think that you know it's great that there are strides being made by the government to improve this, but you're exactly right. This is not going to be fixed overnight. This is certainly not a time to stockpile formula because that will certainly just make it worse for all of the families out there. You know there is a slow trickle of supply still coming in. It's not that the you know supply has been completely shut off. So while it's tempting to go out and buy two months worth of formula, if you can really just not do that and buy what you need a week at a time, it's gonna make it better for everybody. You know, the improvements are coming. We will get out of this. It will take some time, but it, improvements are coming. And I'm just now hearing our producers telling us that the FDA, clearly under a lot of pressure here, will announce new plans starting next week to streamline the distribution of a formula out there, clearly hearing the concern from parents across the country. Dr. Elizabeth Murray, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, they say breaking up is hard to do, but in this case, it could be really